hi everyone very warm welcome to your channel in this video we are going to install this new text to image model which is called as illustrious excel it is a stable diffusion model which has shown a lot of promises on various benchmarks it's an illustration focused stable diffusion excel model which is continued from the previous Kohaku Excel Beta 5 model. It has been trained by this Onuma AI research team. If you go through their Hugging Face page, you will see some of the example images generated by text prompts and the quality looks quite good, especially when it comes to illustration. This model has been released under fair public AI license, but I don't think so. It is allowed for any commercial or monetization purposes. The model type, as I said, it is Diffusion Excel and it has been fine tuned on Danburu 2023 dataset. It is quite a powerful generative model series fine tuned on the comprehensive dataset and its variants. It also includes a wide variety of character designs, styles, and artistic knowledge der derived from the dataset, which makes it quite suitable for creative and artistic AI generation tasks. There are two models which have been released in this series. One is the untuned base model, which is simply an, called as illustrious Excel model. And then there is a guided model, which is a, quite a safety control model that works better option for actual text to image use cases. And that is the model we are going to install in this video. So let's go and install it before let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so this is my ubuntu system where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Konda. And then let's wait for it to get activated. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Next up, let's install all these prerequisites which include torch, transformers, diffusers, and few other tidbits, the usual stuff which I do for the image model. So let's wait for these to get installed. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So let's wait. All the prerequisites are done. Let's now create a Jupyter notebook in browser environment, and then we will download and play with the model over there. So let's wait for it to get launched in the browser. And the Jupyter notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries we have installed and let's also download the model. And you can see that it has started downloading the model and we are using diffusers which is the state of the art library for diffusion models for image and also for audio generation in pytorch and flax it is diffusers is a go-to library when it comes to um, state of the art pre-trained diffusion models for generating images even 3d structures of uh, molecules so that is what we are using so let's wait for it to finish and all the files have been downloaded and I think the size is just around 12 to 13 in cake, not more than that. Okay, so now let's try to do, do the inference. For inference, I'm just giving it this prompt. Astronaut in a jungle, cold color palette, muted colors, detailed 8K. So, and then I'm piping it through and then displaying the image. And you can see that now it is generating the image through the diffusion process. Let's wait for it to display it. And meanwhile, it generates it. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video, which are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web, any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output accordingly to the shape of your query. So let's go back to our notebook. It is still working, so let's wait for it. It is progressing well. Let's also check how much VRAM it is consuming for a rough idea. 
so you see it is just consuming over 15 gig of vram so make sure that you have this much gpu vram on your system for this model to work almost there so let's wait for it to finish and there you go and look at what it has generated here oh wow it's a pretty nice illustration i must say not bad at all so you see it's a cold color palette that is why the colors are li like this and they are muted too very nice okay in the next one let's try out this one so i'm asking it a majestic dragon with iridescent scales soaring through swirling vortex of a purple and a blue clouds let's see what it produces this time and there you go look at the dragon a very nice illustration as you can see good stuff okay now let's try out another one in this one i am asking it a mystical forest inhabited by glowing ethereal creatures with trees that shimmer like crystal and leaves the that rustle like silk and there you go look at this one hmm, interesting i'm not sure if it is a correct one but anyway doesn't matter let's try out another one in this next one i'm asking it a smiling talking piece of pizza with sunglasses and hawaiian shirt riding a skateboard through a city park so let's see almost there there you go okay that is interesting so this is pizza i guess it has drawn some illustration and remember this is just a early release of version so but still pretty good i would say in terms of illustration okay finally let's try out this enemy style one in this i'm asking it a powerful sword wielding heroine standing atop a mystical ancient ruin surrounded by cherry blossom petals so let's wait for it to come back and there you go so okay so this is not a sword wielding stuff okay i think that is where it is failing a bit anyway so i think a lot of improvement needed but still maybe it's a beta early release so maybe that is why now i was i have tried uh, offline to to use different prompts and stuff but i was unable to generate images of this quality i'm not sure what magic they have done how these images have been generated i was unable to do so but if you are able to do so on your system by using uh, now you know how to install it so but i have been very transparent i am unable to generate these images with this model i have tried it out with their guided model too so for example if you go to files and then if you scroll down you will see that there is this uh, guided one and there is another one i have tried with both nope still i was unable to generate these sort of images so I'm not sure how they have done it, uh, but the data set which they have used behind the scene is of very good quality, which I mentioned earlier, which is Dan Buru 2023, uh, which is a large scale enemy image data set with over 5 million images uh, annotated in detail by enthusiastic community. So that is why I was hoping that I would be able to generate this quality images, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If you're able to do it let me know i'll be very uh, keen to know that anyway i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you